My name is Adam Carlson, and in this course, I'm going to be teaching you the basics of Google Spreadsheets. In this first lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create a spreadsheet, rename it, save, import data, share your information between accounts, and how to modify the sheets or tabs across the bottom. I'm also going to show you how to take an existing sheet, even if it's view only, and make a copy for yourself, as well as some other basics including undo, redo, and how to have multiple sign-ins with multiple people accessing the exact same file at the exact same time. Let's get started. The requirements for working with Google Spreadsheets, you need to have a Google account, a web browser, and internet access. When you have that, you're going to want to navigate to Google and search for Google Drive. That will take you to here, and you can go to go to Google Drive. You could also, if you specifically want to work with Sheets, go to google.com slash sheets slash about. And when you click on that, it's going to open like this. What we're going to do here is we are going to first create our new spreadsheet. So down here it says create new spreadsheet. I'm going to do that, and it's going to create a new spreadsheet with a very long name up there. You don't need to worry about that. Alternatively, what you could do is go to your Google Drive, and inside here, you're going to click on New, and then click on Google Sheets. It'll open up a spreadsheet just like this. Now that you have your spreadsheet open, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is rename it. There's a couple different ways you can do that. First way is go to File, and then click on Rename, and it will pop up this little window here for renaming. Alternatively, a simpler way is just to go up here, where it already has it listed, and just click on Rename and Add it. Hit OK when done, and you've now renamed your spreadsheet. One of the most important things to know about working with Google Drive is that you don't need to worry about saving your work. Everything is going to be auto-saved. Normally, you go to the file and you'd look for a Save menu, but you're not going to find one up here. Instead, it's going to say All Changes Saved in Drive. Every couple seconds, it's going to automatically be backing up anything you do. Worst case scenario, your computer catches fire. You shouldn't have lost a thing. Simply open up another computer, and all of your information will be there. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to type something into this first cell, and you'll notice that it says saving, and in a moment, it's done. All changes saved in Drive. Now, if I was to accidentally close this down, I don't need to worry about accidentally losing anything. If I open it back up again, all my information has been saved. If you're moving over from Microsoft Excel, you're probably going to want to import all of your documents and your data from there. That's very easy to do with Google Sheets. There's a couple different ways we can do this. The simplest way is maybe just go to File and Open. Now, I can upload a file. I can search in my drive if you already have information in there. Perhaps someone has shared information with you, but more likely you have it already as a .xls file or xlsx, depending upon which version of Microsoft Excel you have. Now we can click here to select a file from the computer, but I already have one, so I'm just going to drag and drop one right into here. It's going to say Uploading, and now it's opened in a new window my spreadsheet. You'll notice it's probably a slightly different format than what you're used to in Microsoft Excel, but the same basics are all there. Now, when I open this file, it opened it in a new window. If I want to include it in this spreadsheet, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to File, Import, and the same idea here. In this case, I'm going to upload, and just like I did a moment ago, I'm going to drag and drop my file into here. Now, it's going to give me a couple different options. Do I want to create a new spreadsheet? That's what I actually did right here. Do I want to insert it as a new sheet or a new tab down here, or do I want to replace the current spreadsheet? I'm actually just going to replace the current one here, because I didn't really have much in here, and I don't want to have to create another spreadsheet. So I'm going to replace what I have here. It's going to import the data, and here's my first spreadsheet that I've imported my data into. One other way that you can get your information from an Excel document onto Google Sheets is to go to My Drive, and this red button here on the left, you could click on to create a Google Sheet, but here I'm going to do File Upload. You could also do Folder Upload, but I'm going to do File Upload, and here is my information right here. Now it's going to upload that down there, and then right here it's going to provide me a link. I'm going to click on that link, and it's now going to open essentially just kind of a view-only version of that. However, I want to convert this into the Google Sheet form. Right now it hasn't changed the format at all. But I want to open it, and I'm going to click here, Google Sheets. Now it's going to convert it into a Google Sheet, changing things possibly a little bit, but usually not that much. 
So that covers all the different ways that I can import data. One of the best things that you can do, though, is be able to collaborate with others. This is something that Excel typically doesn't do, but due to the online nature of Google Sheets, it's natural for collaboration. What I'm going to do up here is where it says share. Right now, this is saying that I am the only one who can see this sheet, and it's locked to anyone else. Even if you were to give them that whole own website up there via copy and pasting it, they won't have access to it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to share between accounts. I'm going to share this with myself on a different account. But instead of giving myself edit power, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a view only version. This way, anyone logged into that account would be able to see all the data here, but wouldn't actually be able to manipulate it. So I'm going to notify the person via email and hit send. Then hit yes, even though I'm not in the same organization. Now I've shared it with that person. So that person now has a view only version of this document. Let's say you want to change that. You want them to be able to see the data, but you don't want them to be able to really change it. But you'd like some comments. So I'm going to go under advanced. Here's the link. But now I'm going to change this person, me, to view before. Now I'm actually going to change it so they can put in comments. Then hit save changes. And they now have the ability to not only view this, but actually make comments on it. Let me show you what that's going to look like from their end. So now I'm actually going to switch accounts so I can see what this spreadsheet will look like from their end. So now I can see all of the data, but I don't actually have the ability to change any of it. But let's say I wanted to delete this. I do not have the ability to do so. I can't even type anything in there. It's saying that I am comment only. I can make comments on the changes, but if I want to actually change something, I have to request edit access. However, I can put in comments. I can say, I can put in a comment and say, hey, who is this student here? Now the owner of the sheet can actually see my comment, but again, I haven't actually affected any of the data. Let me go back and look at this with my other account. So now I'm looking at this as my owner's account, and I can see right here someone actually put a comment. In this case here, I can actually reply. So now what we have is a comment thread about this. And for the most part, it's buried and it's out of the way, unless you see that little tab in the corner. Then you put your mouse over there and you can actually see this. Now let's say I want to say, all right, we're done with this comment here. I'm going to click Resolve, and that's going to disappear. I can see it in history, but for now, it's no longer in my way. If I go back to the account that was comment only, the comment has been cleared up. Comment only versus view only is a great way to share the data without that data accidentally being changed by the person. View only is really good if you want to publish something out to the web, you want a lot of people to look at it, but you don't want to have to deal with a lot of them changing data or even adding comments. One thing to be aware of, data isn't private when you start sharing it. Even though we have made what is a view only document to this person, they do have the ability to make a copy of their own. So all this data out here even though they can't change it, they could make a copy of it for themselves and do whatever they need with it. If you would like to change that, and you want to make it so that anyone who has view or comment only access can't make a copy of your data, Google's got you covered. You're going to want to go up to the share button, click that, and under advanced options, we can see that my other account is listed as view only. Down here, I have the new option, disable options to download, print, and copy for commenters and viewers. When I click that, it's going to ask me to save it. Now I'm going to go over to my other account. I need to refresh the page. Now, several of the options that I had before are now disabled. I can no longer print. I can no longer email or publish or do anything like that. I can no longer even make a copy. If I try to go to edit, cut, copy, and paste are all removed. If I try to select this and I even use the keyboard shortcut of control C, it's going to say options to download, print, and copy have been disabled on this file. Learn more or dismiss. Now, it's not perfect and they could of course take screenshots of the data, but it's another level of security that you can now add. One other thing I want to show you about the organization of information in a Google Sheet is that at the bottom, you're going to have these different little tabs down here. Now, in this case, I have a very simple document where I only have one particular sheet, but I'm going to show you a different spreadsheet that I've created and I'll be working with later on to show you how you can have lots and lots and lots of information across the bottom. Here I have a bunch of different exercises that we'll be getting into later, and you can see that each one is very similar in structure to the first one. Some of them might have slightly different sizes of rows or whatnot here. Some of them even have different colors down there. I'll show you that in just a minute. And I have so many that they actually don't fit right here, so I 
can scroll left and right. If that's too much of a pain, if you just want to jump to what you know is a different sheet, if you click right here, it's going to let me jump very quickly to the sheet that I'm looking for here. Going back to the very first sheet that I created, it's very easy to create a new sheet. In this case right here, if you just hit that plus sign here, I'm going to add a new sheet. Everything is going to start off blank. Let's say, however, I want to take this particular sheet and I want to work with it, but I don't want to lose this. In that case, I'm going to click on this arrow right here and I'm going to duplicate it. Now I have another sheet. It says copy of whatever that thing happens to be and all the information in it is the exact same as this one happened to be at first. Well, let's say, oops, I, I changed my mind. I didn't want that one. I want something else. So I'm going to click right here and click on delete. Are you sure you want to delete this? Yes. Here I created that blank one, and I can do whatever I want on there, but let's say I want to start working with this one first, but I want it in front of student data. That's very easy. Just click and drag, and you've now rearranged it. Sometimes you have a lot of information that you've been working with, and you just kind of want to get it out of the way, in which case you have the option of clicking on it, and then hiding sheet. The sheet is now hidden. If I want to find it again, I use the view menu to unhide the sheets. So I'll go up here to view, hidden sheets. Here's the sheet that I actually had. So that's how you will unhide it. Last thing you may have noticed in my sheet here, I have a lot of different colors across the bottom. Very handy for differentiating between them. You can color code them based on particular preferences that you might have. Very simple to do. Under here, I'm going to click it and I'm going to do change color. I'll make this one red. In which case, I've now colored the sheet as necessary. Now, one other thing to remember is that it's very, very hard to screw up something. Let's say I'm working with this and I accidentally delete all that data. You don't need to worry. Your data hasn't actually been lost. There's a couple different ways that you can fix that. I can go up here to edit and hit the undo button. Or I can go right here where I've got the little icon right there, hit undo, control Z, or even just use the keyboard shortcut and undo it like that. One other thing that makes Google Sheets very powerful is the ability to work on the same document at the same time with someone else. What I'm now doing is I'm logging into this document from my own account on a different computer. You'll notice that all of a sudden a little green box appeared up there. Now, anything that I'm doing on this different computer is going to show up as being highlighted. Let's say I'm changing this. Now, I am typing that all in from a different computer, and you can see the changes that are being carried across to here. That was changed. I can delete a bunch of things. And everything that I'm doing on that computer is going to show up on this computer in real time. You can have multiple people working on the exact same spreadsheet at the same time. 